Hey guys, welcome back to the Wadoc Project 365, episode 299. Today what we're doing is working on loosening up the anterior shoulder girdle here, and we're work and we're doing that so we can increase our range of motion while we're coming down into the dip position. I had this come up today in the office, and I thought that I had a video for it. I did not, so I wanted to make sure I had it out there for you guys because I'm sure if I saw one case of it, there's a bunch of them out there. Okay. Now, this is for the people that have a real hard time getting down into that dip position, okay? They can't bring their arms out, and a lot of times what will happen is when they bring their arms, their palm closer to their shoulder, their elbow wings out like that, and it's because they have a loss of extension, a lot of times coming from this very, very tight anterior shoulder girdle capsule area, right? Or from the instability, it just dumps forward like this. So what we want to be able to do is give you an aid to be able to keep your elbows back and down and it's not that difficult at all. I use this all the time. There's two different ways that you can do it, okay? The first way, no matter what, they, you both have to uh, use this green band. You can use any type of band you'd like, okay? But the idea is, is that you have to bring it behind you and this could be a little bit of a circus trick in itself, okay? But you get it around both elbows. A lot of times doing it with a long sleeve shirt is best because then the band doesn't rip the shit out of your arms. But that being said, oh, there goes some hair. So there's two different ways that you could do this. You can control the pressure at which you're going to come into that dip by taking two boxes and that way you could just squat into it. Now why am I doing this? Remember what I said is a lot of times the shoulder, as you lose that flexibility, wants to wing out and dive down forward. So what our job is going to be to do is just use our, our legs, okay, our hands and our shoulders to keep our, our, our legs to modulate the pressure and our elbows to stay back as our shoulders stay up, all right? So it, it looks the difference between this and this, right? Now I can hang out just in this position, just stay in this half strided stance. I can also modulate that pressure like this. Now, this is what it looks like from the back, okay? I'm either in a half strided stance like such, and I'm allowing those bands to squeeze my elbows tight, okay? At the same time, I'm keeping my shoulders back and down. Or I can get into a squat stance like this. Both times, I'm keeping my elbows in. You can tell as I get down, the closer I get down, the more my elbow wants to come out. Now, once you do that, what you can also do is just use the side of a box. You don't have to use both. Now, this is a little bit more difficult because this makes your elbows come back farther, okay? It makes them come back that way farther rather than when you're sitting in between the boxes, okay? So this would be a more advanced version of it. Again, this is where you're going to be. Your shoulders will want to come, your elbows will want to come back and your shoulders will want to dip forward like this. Our job is going to be just to keep our back straight and tall and our shoulders back and down, okay? Why we get in to that position there, okay? Rep schemes for this. What we want to be able to do is we want to be able to accumulate that two to four minutes like we always talk about. You can either stay down into that static position like I, like I did when I was talking or you can modulate that to where you just come down, hold for 10 seconds, come back up. Come down, hold for 10 seconds, come back up. Don't turn it into a dip workout. Turn it into a release at the bottom and allow that really to get stretched out. But don't let those elbows come out and don't let that shoulder dip down and away, or down and forward, okay? That's that anterior shoulder impinging position. That's not what we want to do. Hope that helps you guys. Until tomorrow, we are optimizing function to optimize performance.